Yo, what is up guys? Dale Boy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. Another one of my heavyweight prospect videos. Today we're going to be talking about Australian heavyweight prospect, Justice Honey. I thought I'd make this video today because he actually only just fought today in his professional debut. Um, before we get into that, Justice Honey is a 21-year-old heavyweight prospect from Australia, he's an orthodox fighter and he is listed as six foot three. Justice Honey had a fairly successful amateur career, or more than a fairly successful amateur career. He was a very good amateur, both in the juniors and in the seniors. Uh, in the seniors, for example, he actually won the bronze medal in the World Amateur Championships in, I believe, 2019. So, Justice Honey comes from good amateur pedigree, and given his age in particular, he's certainly got a good base to build from. Um, he actually had his pro debut today in Australia. He was fighting a guy called Figer Apulu, maybe I've got that name wrong, but the guy came in there with a record of 13-1-1, and so Apulu had a pretty decent record going in. And for a pro debut, Apulu was certainly a decent opponent, in my opinion. This fight was actually for the Australian heavyweight title, and Justice Honey won this fight by a 7th round stoppage. Uh, Apulu's corner threw in the towel at the end of that round. And yeah, Justice Honey uh, looked quite impressive, all things considered. 21 years old, pro debut, a lot of expectation down in Australia. I felt uh, Justice Honey looked pretty good. He's got some real nice attributes for a heavyweight. In my opinion, he's an extremely athletically gifted fighter. He's blessed with very good hand speed. For a heavyweight, we've seen that in his pro debut. His foot speed is nothing to sniff at either. And all around, he's got some really creative offense. He'll be creative and throw different combinations with his hand speed. He's got a really nice jab, which he can double up and work off as well. Uh, decent boxing fundamentals. And yeah, all around, I think Justice Honey looks like a good prospect. Considering this is his start point in the pro game, there's a lot to work with there in my opinion. There's a lot to work with. And yeah, his pro debut, I felt he looked quite impressive, considering it was against a decent opponent, you know? A few issues here and there. You know, he did switch off defensively sometimes. He did get involved a little too much with Apulu. You know, he gave Apulu some chances to land shots, which he did. But he took those shots quite comfortably. And um, yeah, there's a few flaws here and there. But the guy's had one fight, and, he, and he's 21 years old, so... He's got plenty of time to tidy up and address the defensive flaws in his game. But if we're talking about like raw attributes, hand speed, foot speed, combination punching, reflexes, things like this, you know, Justice Honey has a lot going for him in my opinion. And his boxing ability is certainly nothing to sniff at. For example, in the Apulu fight, he was actually effectively switching stances quite well in my opinion, and that is certainly a rare skill for a heavyweight. And yeah, overall, I liked what I saw from Justice Honey in his first fight. Um, he was actually planning to fight in the Tokyo Olympics, but obviously because the Tokyo Olympics got pushed back a year due to COVID, um, Justice Honey decided to turn pro. And yeah, I think that's good for the division. He's certainly a prospect that is worth looking out for, and I've certainly seen a lot worse prospects in the heavyweight division right now, so I'm going to be keeping an eye out for Justice Honey. Certainly a guy that I could get behind. I like his style. I like his offense. You know, he takes risks by looks of it. So yeah, I like what I see so far. Going forwards, you know, he's just won the Australian heavyweight title. I mean, there's a couple of names in Australia in which uh, Justice Honey could fight. You know, maybe someone like um, Lucas Brown, for example, uh, Bowie Tapu. These sort of guys for Honey's second and third fights would be more than ideal, to be honest. More than ideal. Um, from what I hear uh, from Justice Honey's team, they actually plan on fast-tracking him. No messing around. They want to get him to the top as soon as possible. That's all well and good, but you know, in regards to heavyweights, matchmaking can be treacherous, and one, and one wrong move can result in a prospect basically being written off. So they need to be careful with Justice Honey. I wouldn't necessarily rush him to the extent in which they're going to, or what they say they're going to. I'd give him a bit more time, but ultimately, if they want to go down that route and they want to fast-track him, fair enough. If, if he's got that sort of ambition, 
that can only be commended. And if he does have that sort of ambition, second and third fight, maybe Bowie Tapu next, followed by Lucas Brown. I think they'll be good step-ups for him. But yeah, certainly a guy worth looking out for. He actually kind of reminds me of Joseph Parker when Joseph Parker was on the come-up, to be honest. He kind of reminds me of Parker. But um, Justice Honey's combinations are a little more... They've, they've got a bit more variety in regards to the shots he throws. I'm not saying Honey's going to be as good as Joseph Parker, but I see some similarities in regards to the styles, to be honest. But, um, yeah, share your thoughts below. Interesting prospect, in my opinion. Um, tell me what you think. Peace.